my question to you is, you have said that when something happens in your life repeatedly, it always has a pattern. So if it's a negative thing, then recognize the pattern and find a solution or heal it because something that's not healed inside you is getting projected outside. Bravo. Yes. But once we recognize the pattern, how do we solve the problem? Okay. First of all, lots of stuff coming your way in the release phase. But second of all, I just want to provide you with something that you can work with right away, right off the bat. So here's the thing is recognition of a pattern is awareness. Awareness of a pattern takes care of most of it. I can't tell you how powerful, especially the more that you do this, how just even recognizing a limiting belief or a pattern or like, hmm, something is happening here. There's something unhealed within me that is recreating this reality over and over and over and over and over again. That awareness alone can fix so many things. It can really wipe out so much of the pattern. So for example, Brendan and I had this pattern around tires constantly deflating, like constantly. And after some time, I'm like, I don't know what this is connected to, but this is a pattern. Okay. This is some sort of a pattern in our life where at some point our car's tire deflates itself, makes us late somewhere, makes us miss something, (laughs) makes us delayed going on a road trip or something like that. And a lot of students since then, and this pops up in my Q and A's on Instagram very often, they'll ask me, Hey, Catherine, have you figured out that tire pattern yet? And I'm here to tell you that that tire pattern is gone. Okay. Hasn't happened since then because It was in that moment, it was in that month when I shared that with my students that I recognized that there was a pattern, that I recognized that there was something in there. And subconsciously, my subconscious went to work on that pattern without even me consciously thinking about it. And afterwards, it hasn't happened since. Knock on wood, because I'm still Russian and I still knock on wood. (laughs) It's part of our culture. (laughs) And um, that alone just shows you how powerful awareness is. Now, Awareness might not solve 100% of every single pattern. So what's next? The next step is to change the behavior that occurs when that pattern happens. Okay, so you recognize the pattern because it just happened. So you are typically reacting to a pattern in a certain way. Okay, that is the first thing that happens, right? You get triggered and there's a reaction. So if you can't control the trigger yet, you can start with the reaction. And so, for example, let's say that every time you sit down to do finances with your husband or with your partner or your wife or whomever, every time you sit down to talk about your bills and finances and goals and budgets and things like that, you get in a big fight, okay? Something gets triggered within both of you that causes a big fight, okay? Well, the reaction to sitting down to work on your finances is the fight itself. It's you snapping at each other or like something is said to one another or like obviously an MBA we're doing work on ourselves first so maybe it's looking at like what am I saying to him or her or them that is triggering this fight between us when it comes to money like obviously I'm believing something about money and obviously like there's a past experience that we've had that is being stacked and layered on top of each other that's creating this energy right that isn't serving us But how am I reacting to it? And how can I change that reaction as the very first step to changing the pattern? Or let's say that every time you manifest a huge sum of money, you also attract a bill, right? To wipe out that money right away. And that's a pattern that's annoying and it needs to go. And obviously there's a belief, there's some sort of unworthiness that you feel around money. You feel discomfort around having money that is causing you to lose it right away. Well, Let's say that normally your reaction when you receive this big bill, right? You receive the big bill, you get triggered. What's your reaction? Your reaction is to freak out, right? Is to panic, is to cry, is to do all these things, right? And just like throw a tantrum and go in this downward spiral where you're like, oh my God, I have to make more money. I have to make more money. I have to make more money. And you go into this hustle mode and this and that and all these things. 
where eventually you figure out a way to create more money. But then again, something happens, you attract another bill and that money gets wiped out and you're always being brought back down to zero. So how is that reaction changed? So for example, in the example with like your partner sitting down to do finances, what if instead the next time it happens, before you go into working on your finances together, you both do an abundance meditation. It's very simple, you know? Changing patterns is not about like this whole huge thing that you have to do right away. It's about starting with one simple shift. What is one simple shift that I can do this time? Well, maybe we can do an abundance meditation together, okay? And if they're not willing to do it, at least I can do it because I'm in control of me. Okay. I have all the power over me. And so that's what I'm going to do. And so when we're doing our finances, now I'm in a peak state. Now I'm in this abundant state. So yeah, we might not like what we see. Maybe our finances are still not up to par with our dream, but at least I'm in a state where I'm willing to believe that what we're seeing right now can one day be shifted and changed. And I'm less likely to get mad at my partner for buying an Xbox the other week (laughs) that we're seeing on our credit card bill, right? With the bill, maybe instead of freaking out and crying over the bill, you can thank the bill for the services that you received as a result of that bill. So let's say the electricity bill is like really high this month. Well, maybe we can find gratitude for all of the things that we were able to accomplish as a result of that electricity. Maybe the bill is for a consultant or something that you hired that you didn't realize that their services actually cost more than what you thought that they cost. Well, just be grateful for the services anyway, right? Like, thank God I was able to afford hiring this consultant. Actually, I did get value out of this consultant. And if I apply this value that I received out of this consultant, then you know what? I can actually implement this and I can actually make more money. So that's an awesome thing. Maybe it's a vet bill. Maybe it's a medical bill. Maybe it's a hospital bill, right? It's not always like fun bills that we receive. And so it's just being grateful for, thank God that I was able to get to the hospital in time. Thank God that I was able to live through that experience. Well, thank God that I mended my broken leg or whatever it is that happened, right? Being grateful for whatever that bill is, whatever that service is is a change in your reaction. And that's step one of changing the frequency of how you interact with this quote-unquote negative situation. And by changing your reaction, repetition over time, every time you react differently, you start to believe different things about this scenario. You start to neutralize it so that you're able to look at it objectively and you're able to behave in a completely different way. That's where it happens. You're nipping the limitation right there in the bud. Instead of the pattern repeating itself, you're nipping it in the bud. So you're saying no to limitation and you're saying that there's another way to go about this. I can see this differently. I can act differently. I can be differently. Who is the version of myself who would handle the situation differently? A lot of people think that when they have a pattern in their life, they expect the pattern to change itself. But when it doesn't, they feel helpless and they feel like, oh my gosh, they're a victim of their circumstances instead of being like, okay, what can I control in this situation? What can I control in this scenario? And then starting there. 